All right, what's up, Anita? Welcome to Heavy Things. I'm glad to see you. Long time coming for this interview. You know, you the one got me uh, doing this interview, got me uh, pushed forward and go ahead and do it, knock it out the way, because I ain't been doing nothing, really. Just promoting everybody. All right, right, right. So where you from? So for all the people that don't know you at all, because you know, I know I know you out there doing the fashion and music, but for everybody that don't know you, who are you and uh, what you do? I see you. you be out here in the streets moving in, you know, grooving with the fashion shows, the music. Right. I be, I be surprised. I'm like, man, which one is it? Because I met you for the music, so right. I just be trying to figure out, you know, you know what, who are you and what, like, what you really do. And uh, so the mute, uh, the clothing, you know. Clothing. Let's talk a little about that. How the clothing. See, I ain't gonna lie, like I kind of envision. It was a vocabulary word, like what, a test? Yeah, that shit crazy. Yeah. They tried to test me with the finesse, so. Shit, you know, part of the little quiz and shit, the homework and shit, you gotta write down the words and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, like, shit, you know, like, 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 you know, Yeah, but a lot of people come up off of, like clothing, yeah. and I think your I think your brand really speaks to the streets, cause like even when I'm seeing your face, I see a lot of dudes that's no that's doing things and moving moving like blocks around the city, like wearing your stuff, and I'd be like, damn, who shit is that? Oh yeah. Especially uh I think like a couple years back I seen Trill Sammy when he was coming up yeah. and Daiso Hole and them niggas rocking your pants, your shorts so, and stuff. Yeah, in the 80s, yeah. Sammy that was like some old really good shit. Bro shit graduated and did his thing, you know what I'm saying? But shit, he was really rocking with me, you know what I'm saying? He helped me out a lot. But, but shit, a lot of these artists really just fuck with me, period, you know what I'm saying? So shit, I started, you know what I'm saying? 
working with artists before I was an artist, you know what I'm saying? Basically setting it up to play. You know what I'm saying? I was really just trying to envision it and shit. Most artists, you know what I'm saying, once they establish themselves, they be getting that little merchandise and then that shit go for tours and shit like that. So me, I was like, damn, you know, that shit I already doing, so why not just work on some music when you got your spare time cause shit. I don't work for nobody for me. Right. I don't even, you know what I'm saying? I don't even, can't even remember the last job I had working for nobody. All right. And shit, so, so I, I get up, I gotta go, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get to, to it, you know what I'm saying? Get to rolling, cause shit. If I don't move, shit don't shit move, don't shit go. So it's like, shit kind of hard, man, I ain't gonna lie, but with everybody like pushing me and helping me, you know, supporting me, like, mm-hmm. you know, getting the shirt sometimes, shit, that shit mean a lot, you know what I'm saying? Listen to a nigga song, playing a nigga song, you know what I'm saying? Saying, hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? I, I see that shit with you, you know what I'm saying? That shit, I just really came out on the music shit, I ain't really just been pushing on music, you feel me? I just been the owner of this clothing brand. Everybody knows this shit so close to the streets. Right. Like the closest thing to the streets to the street working here, you feel me? Like, yeah. And I'm still like doing fashion stuff, so, so you know what I'm saying? We got some shit coming up too, like Mark, all type of colleges. They booking like every day right now, so I'm just trying to see what they For you coming to fashion shows and all that? So you doing college tours? Yeah, I do college tours, but shit. I'm not doing that shit for free no more. That's the only thing. Like, I need a deposit or something, you know what I'm saying? Right, Especially right. If it's not an HBCU. If you see you, I'm going to try to look out for it, but you know what I'm saying? Other than that, man, I don't keep feeling out of school doing that shit, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to make it. Just trying to make it, build a name for yourself, right? And that shit go far. People go from, you know, out of college, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I remember you doing this and that, you know what I'm saying? That shit, that's what's up, you know what I'm saying? Because I did that shit, I wasn't doing it for nobody, but yeah. So when it comes to your music, I, I see on iTunes you drop No Sleep, and then I found one of your uh, early songs, No Liquor. Yeah. Let's talk about the two and the comparison. Cause I, I could <laughs> I could hear the uh, the elevation between yeah, uh, when you started off and then when you ate with No Sleep now. Just so, like, shit, No Liquor, man, I ain't gonna lie. That bit was, like, something that I had made real quick, you know what I'm saying? Because shit, I was sipping that lane hard, and the bitch line I was just like, man, I ain't sipping no liquor at the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I really don't even fuck with that shit. That shit poison, really. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's for the, for the females, to me. But not saying lean for nobody. I don't really sit lean that hard, but shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Time, time, whatever. I got the sign. I can go on and on about that shit. Mm-hmm. That no liquor, man. I played the hoe for Sancho. You know what I'm saying? He was fucking with that hoe. A lot of people was fucking with that hoe. And then I shot that video just to, you know what I'm saying, start working. You know what I'm saying? So I can have a starting point. And then, that no sleep. That shit is my life right now. I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's like, so let's talk about that. You know what I mean? No sleep. Because I'm out here to work et- ethic. And you out here uh, just out here grind every day. You out working to work. Yeah. You out working yourself. So I'm like, do you ever have days like you tired that you don't want to do this? That like you just want to stay in the house and chill? Or do you like every day I got to get up and I got to do something? Shit, like for the most part, I'm like that. Yeah, but sometimes when I feel it in my head, you know you know what I'm saying? My body, like, if I'm tired, my body, like, I can push through it, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, if I say no to my, in, my, in my head to myself, I got to listen to myself right now. Because sometimes I'll not listen to myself and I'll overwork myself. Shit, I ain't saying people faint and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because they overwork themselves. Like, you know, sometimes I do take a day, you know what I'm saying? Just be like, you know what I'm saying? I'm shutting a lot of shit down, I'm doing this to I'm not doing that because you can't do music clothes and then be you then take care of your own. This shit, it's a lifestyle, and you gotta have create an image for yourself and shit like that. So that's really where the finito shit came into part. Cause like, this elephant, you know what I'm saying? That bitch spin off from this. Yeah, the I name see. of the elephant is gonna be finito. You know what I'm saying? That's my right. name. That's the name of the character. You know what I'm saying? Like King Dolphin. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, most definitely. And nobody got an elephant. I don't think. That's why I need it. So somebody got an elephant. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. But, and then for this game is spelled with a B. Right. 
Oh, yeah, but I think people know that that haven't seen this interview yet gonna be like, oh man, I, I knew I couldn't watch off your face, off of you, because I think you have your own credibility out there that you know, people gonna gravitate to. to. Hey, we working, we working. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. All right. So are you gonna take these same techniques that you use with your clothing line to market uh your music, the tape that you uh the same that's gonna come out? Use this shit. Y'all gonna see some shit, you know what I'm saying? Involving this shit. Matter of fact, the name of the tape called Backwoods and Shrimp. Backwoods and Shrimp? Backwoods and Shrimp. That's a. Okay. I was like, you know, chicken. I accidentally had some gumbo yesterday, and I was just trying to eat some shrimp. I ate some chicken and shit. I ate some shit, but. So, like, we're gonna throw a fucking. We're gonna kick that release party and have three backwoods and three shrimp. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have that shit coming soon, but the tape should be something, you know what I'm saying? November, October, late October. Type shit, because shit, that bitch ready. Mm-hmm. And then anything else you got planned besides music and uh, the clothing line? Anything like in the background? Shit, like, I'm planning on probably opening my own store. Shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, you know, maneuver this traffic, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because like, you out there, like, you. You move a lot of product. Yeah. So I, I, I ain't think about that. You do move a lot of product. So yeah, why? So the store coming soon. Store coming soon. Or, you know what I'm saying? I might move some merchandise around. You know what I'm saying? Crazy where y'all can get it. You know, anywhere. But right now you can get it online. At FinesGameClock.com. But store coming soon. I don't know if I want to pop it off in Dallas or Houston. But I ain't gonna lie my mouth. But Houston family is going crazy. Dallas. That's my home city. I love Dallas, but... Do you have a single producer that uh, is helping you cultivate your sound? Shit, not right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm really, you know what I'm saying? I'm still in the works of a team, you feel me? So, I'm a own team right now, so I need somebody to do everything. Graphics, visuals, everything, just to be said, like, you know, just to call them a part of my team type shit. You know? mm-hmm. It's cool to, you know what I'm saying? I can do everything, but I can't. Honestly, That's right. everything. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta know your audience. Your content, what you post. Yeah. Okay. Man, appreciate you for coming through, you know, talking with having things, man. Shit, sure. guess we just catch you next time, man, for the next interview. Shout out to We go get at him, 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 go get them rackets, go get them rackets. Five in the morning, I'm running on rest up. Six in the morning, I'm cooking that crack up. Got the stick on me, little bitch, better back up. We go get at him, run up them rackets. Hopping out the porch, straight to the porch, sitting on the porches. I've been riding around with a hundred rounds in my bitch.